では次の登壇者を拍手でお迎えください。Please welcome the next panelist. Please welcome to the stage はじめまして、東京。Nice to meet you. My name is Kana Nishizawa from Bubo, Tokyo Branch, and thank you very much for taking the time for us from this session. We like to talk about the diversities and how the women's role in society and in industry. So we have here. From、uh, Okayama Prefecture, the Nagi town, the mayor of Nagi, Mr. Oku, and also Ms. Yumi and Shikawa, an actress and a founder of the K- Kutu. Kutu. And uh, first, uh, I would like to take a poll. Can we have that? Here, this is about the gender equality. Do you think Japan is behind globally when it comes to gender equality? Please log on to your web app and select your answer. It's not a surprise to see this. Answer, but is we talk about equality, we have the wide ranging definitions. It has a lot of ways to look at it, and yes,、uh, you know, almost 100 percent of people say yes.、Uh, what do you think? What are the impression? Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for taking the time. I'm from the Okama Prefecture,、uh, Nagi Town. My name is Oku. And、uh, Nagi Town is a cross border of the、uh, so Totori and Shimane Prefectures,、uh, with a population of、uh, 6,000, and half of them are first women. So women suffer from gender inequality because in the parliament, In the town parliament, we have 10 members, only one woman、uh, member s in the parliament. In the other communities,、uh, the number of women s are very few. So I really feel the inequality. So after、uh, the We would like to maintain the population of Nagi town so that where the women can give birth to the children. Well, I'm the、uh, founder of Ku2.、Uh, we, uh, we have to the、uh, signature、uh, so that、uh, women are not enforced. To wear high heels at work. And、uh, we have the, in the poll, result of a poll,、uh, they said yes, and that's dominant. But if we ask the same questions to the Japanese audience, well, we expect to see the answer will be no. So when I campaign, I'm Kutu, hashtag Kutu, and almost all people don't regard it as a problem. Well, everybody will see that Japan has no、uh, gender inequality. However, even the women、uh, work the same way as men, but、uh, they, were, uh, they are forced to wear high heels. And from February this year, I think I see a good big momentum for this campaign. But the things are not improved. So I'd like to、um, take some actions toward it. Ishikawa,、uh, Ms. Ishikawa, she explained about that, that campaign about Kutu, and uh, so uh, the, he, she is against、uh, the environment where the women are forced to wear high heels at work. And in the internet, only women are not allowed to wear glasses at workplaces. 
So if we combine all these numbers, still women are not evaluated highly uh, from their career or the capabilities at workplace in Japan. So when the women start to work outside home, uh, what are the problems that you regard? As I said earlier, uh, it's, a, it's a problem that is not regarded as a problem. So there is an actions and there is an on a, a feeling that uh, oh, the sentiment that everybody wants to support women, but the focus is not the right way. Well, as for the shoes or heels, well, nobody will take actions or changes where these things will be changed more easily. So what are the uh, causes for women uh, not to work or they make them stop uh, working? So we like to ask the women to the real reason why. So you said uh, you would like to ask women to, to the come up with a resolution or solutions. Now, like uh, uh, Mr. Oku, uh, now Japan is suffering from the uh, declining population and a less birth rate. Now, the Nagitan attracts attention because of the higher fertility rate. But the reason is that you provide uh, child-rearing support to the citizens, and we have uh, any effective countermeasures uh, in, in order to improve work-life balance. Talking about work-life balance, well, if you look at the young men, uh, they will enjoy other uh, housekeeping. Uh, uh, the same generation, we didn't enjoy, but for child rearing, we have to link with the people with a different society, a different industry, and that will broaden the views. In Nagitown, uh, we, uh, it's a home to the population of 6,000. We have to maintain the population. We have to protect the life and uh, keep the quality of life so that everybody can live comfortably, so that we can keep the co our community. So we have to keep uh, the young people in the community and also when, where the women can select whether they get married or are married later. Also, the number of children are now are on the decline in the Japanese society in general, and we have to envision uh, the direction of the uh, Nagi town. We like to make difference in the where we live and how how we live life. Well, child railing is um, great work. When I play with uh, ch uh, the grandchildren, children, well, I can cope with them for two hours a day. That will be okay. We can, I can take care of my grandchildren. But women have to face the children all the time. But the people at the same age or generation, uh, we like to make an environment where people can share the support and uh, also the place so that the young mothers can consult with. So they're separate from the society, but we like to make some kind of link to the society for that kind of young mothers. So as a desire of human nature, uh, there is a desire to contribute to the society. So while working, uh, we like to uh, provide a place where the women or men uh, can work while they're rare children. Well, the the lower birth rate is a problem, not only in Japan, but also the other country worldwide. Uh, we're looking at it today's audience. We have Japanese uh, participants in overseas, and there are some people who view this session from outside Japan. I'd like to ask Ms. Ishikawa, uh, when you conduct a campaign about Kutu and you interact with an overseas uh, participants, so it, do you realize any difference in, reaction, in their reactions? 
as through the Kutu campaign, I was interviewed. Well, half of the interviews were done from the overseas companies, and less than half of them are from Japan. Well, the overseas you know, the interview, interviewers talking about the uh, equality, gender equality. So they apply for the interview because I am the activist about the feminist about the gender equality. As for the Japan media, cover that this is uh, the discrimination of the gender. But talking about the TV programs, they just talk about the health and labor. They don't ta touch upon the topic about a gender inequality. That's a totally different uh, character, a feature. So they're not aware this is a gender problem, so they cannot see how they solve the how we should solve the problem. So you have to change your mindset or awareness. And so that's the difference in the reaction. Well, they haven't faced the problem of gender. That's the only difference. So it's still regarded as taboo. So when we say that women are discriminated, it is regarded as a very big issue. And some of them uh, think it's not a minor, it's a minor issue. But there are many problems around us. So Kutu, uh, the high hills is a very close and it's a minor issue, can be a minor issue and a close, we can see it a close and discrimination see it in, uh, around you. Now, uh, by little by little, do you see any changes in reaction over time? Yes, well, there are see many women who see and who voice their opinions well, and women feel a little bit comfortable about the high heels at work, uh, but now they, uh, it's made clear that this is a problem, and this is an, also the glasses. Uh, some women are not allowed to wear glasses, and only women uh, should wear makeup at work. So there is a climate that uh, women are required to be beautiful and keep neat compared to the men at work. And three mobile phone companies, uh, they review the system of uniforms worn by women. So the women are not enforced to high heels at work. Thank you very much. Now, if you compare Japan against other countries along the line of this topic of today, one thing we should note is men taking charge of raising children compared against other countries. In Japan, men as well as women are eligible to long-term paternity and maternity leave, but the rate of actually acquiring those leaves is very low, according to some data. What is the root cause of that? And how can it be addressed and solved? Your thought. When it comes to family raising, it's not an easy thing to do. It takes a lot of money. So you need, it can cause some instability in your income. As a municipal government, things that we can do, there should be more that we can do. Because giving birth to a new life, it's such a, such a precious thing. But when it comes to child rearing, it can be done by women as well as men. When you go to work and, and go back to the office after a leave, child rearing leave should not be considered as a negative thing. Because if you take a um, parental leave, you can find new connection with new people. And you can find new capability of yours. And when you go back to the society and working place, that should be taken as something to complement. And uh, I tell myself about it. Thank you. If I may, men taking paternity leave. We now talk about paternity leave harassment. 
Uh, there was an incident a little while ago. That problem happens. It's the other side of the coin of women having to look beautiful in working offices. So women staying home and men working outside. That's based on such a traditional concept. So if we address this issue, it's so multiple issues at the same time. So we should work together based on individual capabilities and respect to each other's abilities. And then men, more men will take paternity leaves more and more. Every issue is connected. You cannot address each one individually. Going back to the initial poll, Japan is lagging behind other countries in terms of gender equality. The biggest reason for that, what do you think is it? As I said, I assume it is only women who can give birth to children and it should be respected even more. That's the first step. In addition, women's giving birth and the ability of doing that should be recognized even more. Otherwise, the society will not change and people's income and the assurance of people's um, quality of life cannot be guaranteed or maintained. Again, people not treating this topic as a problem is the reason of not being able to solve this issue. This coup to movement trying to solve this high heel issue, same thing. There are some issues that are still hidden, but there are some so clear reasons out there, and people need to be more aware and keen about solving those issues, otherwise we would not see a change. Going back to your Kutu movement, because some of the people in the audience may not know, uh, it's in line with the Me Too movement that we saw globally. Me Too movement has spread globally, but do you see a difference of growth rate in Japan? That's right. In TV media, they do not treat this as a gender inequality issue. And the same goes to the Me Too movement. People raising voice, uh, there were many in Japan too. People made efforts and raising voices in Japan, but Japanese TV broadcasters did not take up the Me Too issue as a gender issue. They are responsible for that. The gossip uh, programs of TVs just treat this as a gossip topic. And sexual harassment is also treated as a gossip. And people should stop doing that. I may be repeating myself, but in Japan, the women representation in the parliament, as we saw earlier, that's an issue. So among developed countries, women's social positions in Japan is relatively lower. 4.4 is percent is the race, the female director ratio, Japan is ranked very low. What should be done to address this? Women's representation in the parliament, just 10%. Um, in Japan, there is this system of um, individual people working as a community helpers in each individual community, helping other residents in daily lives. There are 26 of such people within our township. In the past, most of them were men, but now we have both men and women in both ratios. So in daily lives, when there is a dire need, women can take up that role assisting other residents in the same community. So when there is a need, we should borrow the helping hand of women because certain things can only be 
assisted and helped by women in some cases. When you drive an express way, women sitting in the uh, passenger seat, men only driving in the driver's seat, that should be eliminated. And so in local communities, some started to take good um, actions to address that. That should spread. A low rate of female director ratio or lower women representation ratio in the parliament. Some people say that it's because of lower, uh, less ability of women. But just like in the problem of uh, forcing women wearing high heels, there is a bigger burden on the shoulders of women. People should really see that problem clearly because a lot more burden going to women. We should realize that and then think about solutions. So we should really fast think about what's really causing this issue. But it's been wonderful listening to all those precious ideas. Thank you very much.